Wait for the rain. We still have to get through a few days of excessive heat. Cal ISO, the state's power regulator, called for another flex alert today. That is nine straight days where they're asking all of us to conserve energy. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes shares what we could see once the rain begins. Wet weather is expected to make its way through San Diego County, and we have already seen some raindrops here in our backyard. Now, the big question is if we are seeing that wet weather and cooler temperatures, do San Diegans still need to conserve energy? Well, the answer is yes. I spoke with a representative from SDGE, and he says that all regions in California are interconnected to the grid, so they are still asking everyone to conserve energy to avoid those rotating outages. Uh, you know, we're, we certainly think we're, we're close to turning the corner, but we still have uh, some challenges ahead of us this evening. And, and even tomorrow's load forecast is, is certainly much is, is lower uh, and certainly significantly lower relative to the kind of heat, uh, the kind of record breaking uh, temperatures and, and demand we've seen this week. But uh, we will we remain ever vigilant uh, even as we work into the tail end of, of the week. That was Kaiso President and CEO Elliot Mainzer, who gave an update on the state's power grid this morning. The statewide flex alert has been extended two additional hours today. It will run from 3 to 10 p.m. instead of the usual 4 to 9 p.m. Mainzer says the reason for the extension is due to the uncertainty of how much energy we will get on the front and tail ends of the flex alert. Kaiso says Tuesday the state came dangerously close to utility companies like SDG&E having to put those rotating outages into effect. But with everyone working together to reduce their energy use, it prevented them. When a flex alert is in effect, consumers are urged to set their thermostat to 78 degrees, avoid using major appliances like ovens, dishwashers and washers and dryers, and of course turning off all unnecessary lights. SDG&E is still encouraging everyone to do what they can prior to the flex alert. That includes pre-cooling your home and avoid using as many electronics and major appliances as you can. In Webster, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.